hard thing to accept, but in our lives, we are getting out of our life right now exactly what we believe we're worthy of, exactly what we think we deserve. Our life is a direct reflection of our identity, which is the thoughts, concepts, beliefs, values, and worth we hold true to be about ourselves. And so as hard as it is to accept, we're getting out of life right now what we believe we're worth. Your growth is the only limit to your happiness. If you're not happy, you're not growing in some area. And usually it's a place where you're blaming, you're pointing the finger, but you can't control that. You can't make it not happen. What you have to do is become stronger than any of it so you're free. Freedom comes from growth. Freedom does not come from control. Then you would have to ask yourself, who do I want to be when I open my eyes? Now, right. the act of answering that question is going to turn on your frontal lobe and the frontal lobe has connections to all other parts of the brain. And it's interested in answering that question because it is the creative center. So as it begins to scan the landscape of the brain, it can only gather information from things you've intellectually learned or things you've experienced in your life. And it begins to associate those different memories with the question. And when you get enough networks of neurons firing in your brain, you see an image or a picture. That's intention. And then as you begin to live and rehearse who you're going to be, you begin to do that exact same thing. You begin to install neurological hardware in your brain. Repeat it, it becomes a software program, and you begin to behave that way. Now the brain is primed. It's no longer a record of the past. It's a map to the future. Now the person can feel the emotions of their future. You're going to see a person move into a different state of being, and they are going to have all kinds of biological changes. Your perception of your world is what controls your genes. And if you're not feeling well, the issue is you don't have to change your biology, you just have to change your perception. And this will then give you your power back. And this is what we have to recognize. We're not victims of biology, we are masters of our biology. Everything that is required depends on you. Having the mindset that regardless of anything that is around you, that is surrounding you, that is trying to drag you down. You must have the mindset. You must be strong. You must be resilient. You must be driven. And you must be able to take whatever's coming at you. What goes out is what comes back. That all, as you sow, so shall you reap. I mean, it's it's in every great uh, institution that there is in the world, whether it's a religion or a philosophy or whatever. What you put out is what comes back. Whatever you plant is what you're going to get back. And the more that you put out honesty, just because it's what you are, because you are being honesty, you're not trying to be honest, you are just being honesty, then that's what will come back to you on a regular basis. And when it doesn't, you'll just see that as another test for you to pass. This comes from Einstein. He said, the most important decision, the most important decision any human being must make is whether or not you live in a friendly or a hostile universe. Now he could have said realization, but he didn't. He said decision. You have to decide because there is no empirical truth. You don't live in either a friendly or a hostile universe. You decide, and that perception, that viewpoint from which you judge everything else that happens in your life will be colored by whether or not you think it is a universe that is working for you or against you. And it's a choice. But most people think of their viewpoint as being patently real, as being just objective and true. And so they never stop to question the fact that they actually decided that at some point, either because their parents acted in accordance with that it was either hostile or friendly and they just absorbed that or their friends or the people that they work with or whatever. But somewhere along the line, they came to believe that they live in either a friendly or a hostile universe. But you could change right now, right now, you could make a different decision. And if you believe that the world is working against you right now, you could choose to believe that it's actually working for you. And in making a fundamentally new and different assumption, it empowers you to move forward. And this is something that I will repeat in this talk. The reason that matters is human beings do not invest energy in things that they don't think will yield 
a result. When you set goals, when you have an intention on something that you want to change about your life, your brain helps you. What it does is it opens up a checklist and then your brain goes to work trying to remind you yeah. of that intention that you set. And it's really important to develop the skill. And I, I say that word purposefully, the skill of knowing how to hear that inner wisdom and that intention kicking in and leaning into it quickly. Mm. So for me, my brain saying, that's it, right there. Move as fast as a rocket mouth. I wanted to change my life. And I think most people that are miserable or that are, that are really like dying to be great and mm. dying to have more, we wanna change. We wanna live a better life. We wanna create more for our families. We wanna be happier. The, the desire is there. Again, it's about how do you go from knowledge to action. So the first thing in the story that's important is realizing that the answer was in me. And my mind was telling me, pay attention. Could have also been the bourbon. I had a couple <laughs> of Manhattans that night. But. Anyway, the next morning, the alarm goes off and um, I pretended NASA was there. It's the stupidest story. I literally went five, four, three, two, one. I counted out loud and then I stood up. And I, I'll never forget standing there in my bedroom. It was dark, it was cold, it was winter in Boston. And for the first time in three months, I had beaten my habit of hitting the snooze button. I couldn't believe it. And I thought, wait a minute, counting backwards? That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Well, the next morning I used it again and it worked. The next morning I used it again and it worked. The next morning I used it again and it worked. And then I started to notice something really interesting. There were moments all day long, all day long, just like that five second moment in bed where I knew knowledge, what I should do. And if I didn't move within five seconds, my brain would step in and talk me out of it. Every human being has a five second window, it might even be shorter for you. You have about a five second window in which you can move from idea to action before your brain kicks into full gear and sabotages any change in behavior. Because remember, your brain is wired to stop you from doing things that are uncomfortable or uncertain or scary. It's your job to learn how to move from those ideas that could change everything into acting up. Take action. When you start to walk, talk, dress, and behave like the top people, you soon begin to feel like the top people. You will treat other people like the top people do. You will work the way the top people work. You will start to get the results that the top people get. In no time at all, you will be one of the top people yourself. It may be tried to say, fake it until you make it, but there is a lot of truth to it. Your main job in life is to create the mental equivalent within yourself of what you want to realize and enjoy in your outer world. Your focus must be on creating the beliefs within yourself that are consistent with the great success you want to be in your outer world. You achieve this by challenging your self-limiting beliefs, rejecting them, and then acting as if they did not exist. You reinforce the development of new life, enhancing beliefs by increasing your knowledge and skills in your field to the point where you feel equal to any demand or challenge. You accelerate the development of new positive beliefs by setting bigger and more exciting goals in every area. Finally, you act continually as if you were already the person that you desire to be. Your aim is to reprogram your subconscious mind for success by creating the mental equivalent in everything you do or say. Make a decision this very day to challenge and reject any self-limiting beliefs that you might have that could be holding you back. Look into yourself and question the areas of your life where you have doubts about your abilities or talent. You might ask your friends and family members if they see any negative beliefs that you might have. Often, they will be aware of negative self-limiting beliefs you have that you are not aware of yourself. In every case, once you have identified these negative beliefs, ask yourself, what if the opposite were true? What if you had the ability to be extraordinarily successful in an area where you currently doubt yourself? What if you had been programmed from infancy with genius ability in a particular area? For example, 
What if you had within you right now the ability to earn and keep all the money you could ever want throughout your life? What if you had a golden touch with regard to money? If you absolutely believe these things to be true, what would you do differently from what you are doing today? Your beliefs are always manifested in your words and actions. Make sure that everything you say and do from now on is consistent with the beliefs that you want to have and the person that you want to have and the person that you want to become. In time, you will replace more and more of your self-limiting beliefs with life, enhancing beliefs. Over time, you will completely reprogram yourself for success. When this occurs, the transformation that takes place in your outer life will amaze you and all the people around you.